Hello, Prestige Heads, and welcome to American Prestige. I'm Danny Bessner, here as always with my friend and comrade, Derek Davison. And we're very excited to welcome back to the podcast today, Andre Pagliarini. Andre is the Elliott Assistant Professor of History at Hampton Sydney College and an expert in Argentina. Andre, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you guys for having me back. I'm uh, really, really looking forward to this. So maybe you could just tell us about this guy, this wacky guy, Javier Malay, who is going to be Argentina's next president. Who is he? Where did he come from? Why is it so wacky that he won? Well, in, in an era of supposed outsiders, people who in a previous generation would have had sort of no chance of winning an election, you know, your Donald Trump's, your Jair Bolsonaro's, um, Javier Malay, I think, stands out. Uh, in part because he is the first, arguably the most uh, libertarian uh, candidate ever to win major office, certainly in, in, in South America. He is a self-proclaimed anarcho-capitalist. Uh, he is a relative newcomer to politics, so he doesn't have a huge party uh, backing behind him. But he's really tapped into something in Argentina. Um, you know, before coming to politics, he was a sort of pundit, an economist who, you know, worked uh, in the private sector and in investment firms and almost like a Jim Cramer type person, like a larger than life character with, you know, he's become famous for the haircut and the mutton chops and the rock and roll attitude and the kind of outsidery edge. Uh, so that's that's who uh, the people of Argentina chose uh, this weekend uh, resoundingly in the election. I hear rumors that one of his major advisors is his dead dog. Can you confirm or deny that? Right. So this is one of the things that makes him particularly odd, right, is that he claims that one of his major advisors is indeed his his dead dog, who he loved very much. And, you know, I guess people love people, someone who loves their dog, right? It's relatable, I suppose. Uh, but he also, you know, in interviews has claimed to hear voices, you know, at, at one point after the first round of voting, he was given a TV interview and he was sort of shushing people off camera. But there was like nobody else in the studio, so people weren't exactly sure what he was hearing. It looked like, you know, as he was in a, an early stage of, of a kind of mental breakdown. Uh, and so he really brings, I think, to the campaign and now to the presidency, a kind of manic edge that his main competitor, Sergio Massa, you know, was in a lot of ways the antithesis of. A kind of smooth, traditional politician in the Peronist mode. Maybe we could talk about him, you know, a little bit. But he really represents a break from what you would expect a sort of traditional politician of a major country to, to look like, to act like, to sound like. And it's as much his affect as his...